Today we have a guest that can tell us how to better deal with the stresses in the workplace and how to best get ahead. WFMZ's Eve Tannery is with former Marine and author of the new book, No Yelling, Wally Adamchik. Eve. Well, good morning, Hasiel. Yeah, Wally's been joining us all morning. His new book, No Yelling, just hit store shelves uh, early, last month, early October. Wally, thanks again for being with thanks. us this morning. Let's start with the title, No Yelling. Where did you come up with that? Well, it actually came from one of the interviews uh, for the book. I interviewed 100 people, and um, one of them, I asked, I asked everybody the question, what's leadership? And uh, that quote came from one of the interviews. And, and the point is, you know, we're going to raise our voice, of, co of course, but... Um, it's, it's about how do we treat people, really. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, if I'm yelling at you, you're not going to respond to me. Right. And for people just joining us, the book really focuses on leadership tips through personal accounts. It right? does. It does. And in those interviews, I didn't want it just to be my stories. You know, I wanted to validate these principles. And again, I talked to a lot of Marines on active duty, Marines out in the civilian sector. And, and um, w one of the stories that really stuck with me was um, this one. Uh, that uh, it was a it was a workplace. The woman had taken all of her vacation, and uh, she didn't have any time. And, and her her father was ill, and and the manager said, "Not a problem. Go." go. And uh, the, she left, and the father passed away while she was with him. And and talk about the loyalty that mm. that engendered. Whereas some managers or bosses would say, "Sorry, you've used your time." Uh, you know, it, that exists out there, and, and that's not the way we get productive workforces. Yeah, what did the military teach you personally? I know you spent 10 years in the Marines. Mm -hmm. What did it teach you personally about leadership? Uh, about leadership, I, I learned that I am nothing without my mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as leaders or supervisors or managers, it's our, you know, we're, 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 we have to accomplish a task, but we do it through our people. And again, a take care of, of people example. I had a Marine who was all of a sudden coming to work late, and you know we take that stuff pretty seriously. And I say, hey, what's going on? And he goes, well, sir, I'm tired. Well, you need to be here. Well, sir, I'm up late with the baby. What's going on with that? Sir, my wife left me two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Right, so now we can get him some help and, and get that situation turned around, which is what we did. But you know, the, going that extra mile is what productive workplaces are 